Excellent. This is nice. I like that. And then they just literally fall straight off. Greetings, guys and girls, fellow gamers. My name is games for kicks and welcome back to Smarter Days to Die. We're playing Seven Days to Die Modern. We're back with Valmont. The Horde Night is over. I'm just sorting out some stuff. We're just going through things. And after that, I'm not really sure what we're going to do, but we definitely want to get out of this crummy little crafting room and we might expand further into the back. We might expand further into the back because we do want to make a proper crafting area where we have at least 10 forges. We take all the stone that we can get. I mean, look at the amount of stone we have. It's just insane, yeah? So we need to constantly make concrete, constantly make reba, constantly make iron. We, we need to get into a proper production. It's gonna be awesome, hopefully. Anyway, I hope you guys are gonna enjoy the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. Now, before we continue, let me just say, if I sound a little bit clocked up or I look tired, I'm actually not tired. I slept for ages today and um, I'm just a little bit congested from the sinuses, that's all. So, um, I like you guys worry about, but uh, don't worry about it. I'm not um, overtired or anything because I see the comments sometimes saying, dude, get some sleep, you're going to kill yourself. Um, no, I had plenty of sleep. It's just that the congestion is just making me look like shit. So, forged steel, we have forged steel here. Why can I not repair it? Because... Oh, there we go, yeah. Repair, repair, and we're gonna merge them together, and we're gonna merge them together. So we just have to do a little bit of housekeeping here. So let's put all these guys together. I have another one outside, so we're gonna merge that together in a little while. There we go. We want to get a wrench up to as close as possible to 600. There we go, 553, then can we, yes. Can we actually get that to 600, was that excellent? So now we have a 600 iron axe, we have a 600 steel shovel, and we are going to get this wrench up to speed as well, because we have two more wrench parts, so hopefully that will be enough to get it to 600. And, oh, so close, no cigar. Oh, there's another one. Oh ever so close can we make a new one is that possible can we just can we just craft one? Oh yeah we can yeah we just need four mechanical parts which we definitely have so and then we merge them together and it should be enough excellent stuff there you go wrench bam okay excellent give that a minute and then we're done so what else do we have here that we can merge together um we have a little bit of food no, we actually are already filled, so we need a little bit more on drink. And I think what we're going to do today is we're also going to get rid of the metal on the top of the balcony. And you guys mentioned like a bit of a design which would look nice, I think. Metal is effective. The, the iron bars on top are effective. But I think we can make it look better based on what you guys left me in the comments, which would be really nice. I hope it works out. I'm just always worried about the weight, yeah? So that when we add it, everything will just collapse, you know? But hey, if it happens, we just rebuild. End of story. Um, can we... We don't have any repair kits, I think. It's a very itchy nose today. And claw hammers and steel shovels. Okay, so I think we have everything in check. Oh, we can repair the legendary chainsaw, but that will go down then. Okay, let's repair it. That's just on full. And we can repair all these parts as well. There you go. And we merge these parts together then as well because they give us a better chainsaw, which is always good. Okay, so now I think we're organized. We have our tools, we have our shovel, we have our iron pickaxe. We're gonna have to make steel tools now in a little while. All right, so let's go and cube some weapons, uh, some tools, sorry, um, pickaxe. There we go. Oh, there's our 500 wrench and steel pickaxe. So we're gonna make four of each. We already have a steel shovel maximum level, so we're gonna make four four steel pickaxes and we're going to make four steel axes there you go now that's going to take some time which is actually it doesn't take too long um what do they actually come under steel shovel toolsmithing we have toolsmithing 10 10 anyway so there's nothing for us to wait here and level up this is not going to go under blacksmithing or anything um no, toolsmithing. So I don't know if we need four. I usually make four, but um, if we do 500 plus 50 is 550. So actually two should be enough. Or three should be enough, sorry. So yeah, we're gonna wait for three to finish because I think three might actually be enough. So this should go to 550. I think it's always 10%. Yeah, and then it will be another 10%, which should be the 600. 
So let me just test that out. Come on. If that is the case, fire axe. Let's just make three, cancel that. And let's put that in here. Yes, excellent. It's always 10%. Good, good, good. That's beautiful. So where did we have them? I think we had them here. There we go. Nice. Oh, I love it. So... Okay, here we go. And then we're going to have to wait for the other two, and that's it. So now let's test out the steel pickaxe. Another thing we also have to test is what we get more resources for. Because if you think about it, like the steel pickaxe, if it one shot stone, you only get, like, say, 24 stone from it. But if an iron pickaxe takes four hits, it can get more, more resources in total. So let's try this out on here. So here, here we go. We one shot. That's 57, 65 stone, okay? Now, if I'm gonna go and use the iron pickaxe, it's three hits, ah, it's only 56 stone. So we do get more out of it, which is actually really, really good. So having this one at 600 is actually really nice if you wanna do some precision um, crafting, which is actually funny because I just used the word precision and then I'm, I'm putting a hole into the ground, which is kind of the opposite of precision. But um, anyway, <laughs> and then we have the shovel here, which is going to give us, what, 26 per head. We don't really need any more earth. We pretty much reach the limit of earth that we ever will need. Um, the, good thing about, the good thing about digging into the site here is that we're digging more into the mountain. You can see these lines here. That means the elevation goes up every time. Well, or down, but in our case, it goes up. So, which means we are going actually automatically deeper underground, which is really, really awesome. And then um, we can go deeper if we would want to, and it will give us more stone. But we definitely want to make a whole room here, um, maybe further down, which would make sense, uh, for our forges, which is something we're going to need to work on today anyway. All right, another thing we need is uh, bulletproof glass. Yeah, so luckily, luckily, I can actually stop the production of cement and we should be able to queue up some bulletproof glass. So let me see here, bulletproof glass. Oh, they do round ones as well. Oh, that's nice. I don't think I want round ones though. Let's, let's just do these guys here first. So we can do 17 blocks. So let's do 15 blocks here. And how many can we make here? Let's make 15 blocks here. So we leave a little bit of resources in there. Mainly the shortage here is lead. So lead is going to be a problem because everything else we put in here for that, we can gather. We can gather iron, we can gather clay, we can gather stone. But lead, while we can gather too, it's more of a case of finding it. Yeah. So meanwhile, these guys are kind of just everywhere. I mean, this is sand, basically. So yeah, lead is going to be the one that's going to stunt our growth here. So bulletproof glass plating centered. Actually, can we cancel that? Ah, we already made one. I think we might want to use centered bulletproof glass because it's going to be between pillars. So I think that might work well. Let's just check out near the pillars how close we actually get to them. I think the pillars are touching actually the sides. Yeah, they do. That's brilliant. Because that means if we do centered class panes, oh, they will be perfect because it will make it look really, really nice. Because this doesn't look as nice, a full block. I'm really glad we can do centered panels. That is awesome. So if we do centered panels, like these guys, yes. Oh, that is brilliant. Okay, let's make all of them, actually. Nice. Oh, that is beautiful. This is going to be awesome, guys. This is going to be so cool. And we're going to put um, some more iron in these as well. So let's put one iron in each. And there we go. And a little bit more stones as well. There you go. Excellent. So sorry, it's very organizational today. It's just the way it is. Um, let's pick up some of this and let's pick up some sand. Yes, yes, yes. Somebody's always shouting. Let's make some more concrete mix. There we go. And we're going to pick all that stuff up here. 
I made more sand as well, which is great. It's a good use for stone when you just have so much stone. It saves you the whole trip to the desert. And we only need about one to one with cement anyway, and stone is two to one, so that's the problem there. Anyway, let's see if we need more cement. We have it here. Excellent. Beautiful. We don't need that, I think. Okay, so let's go back out and... Oh, we have to do one more thing. We have to queue up some wood frames. All right, so let's see what's next. Um, we have concrete mix we have some rebar we have this we have some steel because we're gonna need to do some upgrades and we have things we don't need anyway let's see what, what do we have left here this should be all empty okay we have a wire tool here this should be empty and this should be empty now excellent so let's go up we can manage we're gonna have a screamer here obviously somewhere can turn the light off probably yeah now oh these ones are already upgraded to steel very nice i like it because that means they can carry a lot of weight oh there you are I was wondering where you were there you go nice oh yes got the big boy coming in now you had to call your boyfriend you had to call okay seriously dude learn how to walk okay there we go nice oh love it nice First aid kit didn't help him much. I take it. Thank you. Oh, hello there. There must have been a weird trio. You know, he wears the mask and um, he's held in a box with the chain. <laughs> While the biker is uh, being told what to do by the screamer lady. There you go. Okay, that is weird. How do you spawn on top of my... Oh, you probably came from the left from the hill or something. There you go. Um, all right. Let's do this. Let's not upgrade that to steel, though. There we go. Nope. Nice. Let's make sure they're all... Excellent. Okay. So, um... These things here have to go, first of all. So, we're gonna destroy them. Yes, that would be faster with an auger, but it's only a couple of hits. And once we actually have all these separated, it will be fine. Now, what I think we should do here is let's get we need this to be at least three blocks out they can carry a weight of 320 each this is a weight of well they have a mass of 20 so concrete has a mass of 20 as well so we should be able to no, I'm going to use scrap uh, scrap frames for them, because scrap frames I can paint and they stay at 320. And because this will go down to a max load of uh, 180 or 220 or some nonsense like that, whatever it was. So, yeah, we're going to use scrap for that. Also, I'm just getting the scrap frames, but while we're here, I queued up some steel. And we're going to take the class plates with us, because we want to check out what they look like. So let's go downstairs and have a quick look, before we go back up, what that will look like once they're done. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm glad I brought some replacements. Holy shit, man. Look at that. That is insane. Yeah, we have to be careful with the steel. We don't want to upgrade that to steel. So, and, oh, man. Yeah, just get to, there you go. Nice. Oh, man. Oh, this one was severely wrecked as well. Okay, here we go. nice okay so i can do that later now what we want to do with the glass here is we want to put the glass in between because it is centered which is awesome so we don't want to center it like that we want to center it like that now it is dark but that's okay i don't mind that let's go too high first and this is where our staircase will go to go back up so we don't have to worry about having an entry point right here go nice this is gonna look nice guys because this is basically where we're gonna the zombies are gonna get all destroyed here or we're gonna go out and fight the zombies or whatever but they can't get in here and they will hit the glass and the glass is what 
It's 300. What do we need to repair it? It's 3,000. What do we need to repair it? Glass. Oh, we need an extra glass pane to repair it. Not just glass. That is insane. Wow. Oh, I never merged these two together. That is insane. Oh, my balls. Oh, no, 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 no. It's good always to use this tool because you can always back up before you upgrade it to steel. There you go. Very nice. Okay, so here we can go in and out for the moment. And from the outside, it's looking really nice as well. And we'll have a nice shine to it when it's done. And I think I want to make the whole thing glass. So there's going to be a lot of lead we're going to need to get. Absolutely. We can remove these barrels now as well, because these barrels are going to go on the inside. I only use them here on the outside high up, so they can't get destroyed. But... We're gonna have um, pretty much like the design that uh, Z Nation did with the chairs. I think we're gonna make like a spectator area here where we have a couple of chairs, whatever. And then in between the chairs, we're going to have the... Um... There we go. We're going to have the flaming barrels. So they should go probably here. There we go. Nice. Excellent. And they will add a little bit of light from the inside, which is great. And then eventually we're going to replace them with lamps, with lights, with something nice. And this is good. I like it. This is really nice. And I can't wait to start painting all this. This is going to start looking good. Nice. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Let's go upstairs. All right, so what are we going to do here on top of the roof? I think what we need... I just went to get the rest of the glass. We definitely need to make more, but I need to count it because it's expensive to make. So we need to make sure we do the exact right. And I got a little bit more steel just in case we need to upgrade more things to steel. Um, but from a strength perspective, this should be enough. And I got our iron and a cute of more iron as well. Because that's not going to be enough, I think. Okay, so... What we want is something that slopes down, yeah? So what we might do is do this. And then underneath, we don't want it to get too close to the bottom either. So I think we need one more of those blocks, definitely. And then we're going to go underneath with this guy in the opposite way. So we're going to have to find what the opposite way is. Let me see. Ah, oh, there it was. Not this way, the other way around. Let me see. No, the other way around. There we go, like that. We're gonna put that underneath and then another one of those in front. And that should hopefully be enough for them to drop down. So let's just try this out, what that looks like from the bottom. There we go. And then another one on the top, like that. And I think that would look really nice and would cause them to drop off actually over the railing. I think it would be enough to, go to, to drop over the railing because that block is literally in line with this block. And it would make them fall over, I think. And it wouldn't be too heavy to hold because if one can hold this, the other ones are steel as well. They can hold the multitude of that. If we can do one more, that would be a bonus. So let's see. Come on. There we go. Excellent. This is nice. I like that. And then they just literally fall straight off. That is really, really cool. So let's see if we can upgrade them once. You see, they all have a mass of 20. Yeah. So don't forget that they all have a mass of 20, which means this is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. So we would be reaching a very, very strong limit already with um, using the concrete on that because concrete can only hold 120. So we're going to have to destroy the other ones. So let's go up here. <laughs> and destroy the other iron bars and then finish the design for that. So we need, ooh, we need more than 20 of those. <laughs> 
All right, let's finish this roof. Now, um, I'm, I'm aware there was a lot of waffle in this episode, but it's the planning stage, you know. We're gonna have to make sure we plan everything out, right? So this will probably start collapsing. Now, look how strong this is. This is amazing. Oh, I did a little bit of work with the auger to preliminarily uh, weaken them, so things would go a little bit faster, but... Um, forgot one there. Yeah, it's starting to collapse now. There you go. I skipped that one. And here we go, and it's done. Excellent. And they're all destroyed because they're all half blocks down there, or whatever. They don't actually, they're not full blocks, so they can't connect. Okay, so, so let's put this one down here first, all the way across. And that one is pretty straightforward because it's directly flush. There we go. And we're gonna go all the way across now these guys here falling down i think we should make this roof go all the way across i really do believe that we should which means that these guys here have to be upgraded to steel okay whoa yeah we have to upgrade them all to steel Let's upgrade these guys to steal as well. I know the last one is not really holding anything, but it will also be used. So there we go. It will look weird if it isn't. I mean, I know we paint everything, but you know what I mean. Okay, so let's see. I don't even know if it will look good here. So let's not upgrade the last row at all. Mm, this wall has to go higher, yeah. Definitely. It has to be flush with this all the way across. Yeah, we have to do that. And we're only gonna upgrade it once because this is not about um, holding back hordes from hitting it. This is literally just for looks, yeah, and stability, obviously. So, and we're gonna paint over it, so it's fine. Um, can we stand on this? Oh, yes, it's holding our weight. That is awesome. Let's make very sure that we're not gonna accidentally flip it, copy rotation. Go. I have another 80 queued up downstairs, so we shouldn't be running out. There we go. Let's go downstairs and get them. I think they should be finished by now. There we go. Whoa. Excellent. Sorry for the poor visibility. Nice. Ooh, don't fall down. All right, and then here on this side, we're going to have to have more rebar frames. End of story. It's just the way it is. Yeah, we're going to have to bring them all the way up in line. Simple as that. It's not going to work any other way. There you go. I mean, the idea was nice to have like a slope going down, but maybe we do the slope later. You know, like do another, uh, do, do start the slope from here. But right now, we have to make sure that everything up to here where we have the bridge, at least, is covered. I think that needs to be. End of story. So let's upgrade these guys. Sweet. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And the same over here. Two, three, four, five. Is that it? Yeah, it's the same. Let's upgrade these guys here. Nice. Okay, excellent. <sighs> Sweet. And they will give that extra stability as well. And these guys here will eventually all be upgraded to steel as well. Because we don't want zombies to come from the side and uh, break into them. So let's upgrade this. Nice. And the rest, I think, we're going to have to build from underneath. But anyway, I'm going to leave this here for now. So thank you very much. And for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel Spaß and happy gaming. All right, so let's finish this. I think we're running very low on... Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I made too many of those. Let's see if we can scrap them into enough. That's 40, 80. Oh, no, it's not going to be enough. Is it? No. Ah. 
<laughs> what a pity. <laughs> Can I scrap these? No, there will only be seven. That won't be enough either. Ah, oh, well. Come on. We gotta finish the bottom row at least. So from the from the bottom it will look all right. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so let's go down. Actually, we can go down. And let's check out what it looks like from below. And we also have a little bit more here. There we go. Look at that. That's 40. That's 40 right there. That's from when we destroyed the upper part. So we can go up and actually finish the upgrade. Nice. Yes. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. And it's complete. And then we're just going to take a paintbrush to it and that's it. That is awesome. And all this will be upgraded to steel on this side, definitely. So that they can't even come through and try to break it. But this is looking nice. I like the idea. Guys, you're full of good ideas. I'm really loving it. There, we're doing something here on top as well. This is going to be a whole patio and we might actually make a building there. Like, you know, like a little village or something. I don't know. I'm just talking now. Um, but this looks fantastic. Let's actually see what it looks like from the distance. There you go. Oh man, it looks nice. I love it. It actually looks much better than what, what I had uh, with the iron bars. Very nice. 